Good morning, Seven Lakes. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. As we begin another school day, let us take a moment to silently think about our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. and I'm a cellist in the Seven Lakes Orchestra. Um, the orchestra is, we have a really good program here at the school, uh, especially with, um, with our current situation and our pandemic. Uh, we have, right now we're, at a, we're in like a kind of hybrid type of class where half of us are online and half of us are in person. And so the people in person, we practice together and the people online, they have this, this program called Jamulus, and this Jamulus lets them play together. And so that's how we usually conduct our classes. We try to sync everyone together, and that's how we play together. Hi, my name is Lauren. I play the cello. I've been in orchestra for about four years now. And um, I probably practice anywhere from like zero to five hours every day, just depending. And um, this last Monday we had our UIL competition and in the group that I was in, we had to combine the top two orchestras and the band to make the full orchestra. And we got all superior ratings, so that was good. And it was a really good experience to play with everyone, again, even with COVID. the violin. Um, I'm one of the violin section leaders in Lyrica. We recently did UIO. We got all one sweepstakes period reading. Um, it's been really hard having less kids and having to combine with another period and we only had three practices together so I'm kind of glad that we pulled it off in the end and it went really well and it was a fun experience this year and it being my last UIL I'm glad it went like that. I recommend joining the orchestra because it's, first of all, you get to play an instrument, which is very fun. Uh, you get to meet lots of people who are like-minded individuals, I guess you could say, uh, who enjoy music, who enjoy playing with uh, others. You get to play with other people, that's a good thing. And you just get a nice community to be a part of. My name is Maddie Hines and I'm president of the Seven Lake Sapphires. Hi, my name is Megan and I'm vice president on the Sapphires dance team. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm colonel of Sapphires. 
My favorite part about competition season is probably because this is our first time that all of our families are able to come and see what we've been working so hard for this past year. Every year we start doing choreography in August or September and work on cleaning the routines all throughout the rest of the season preparing for our February contest. We have Team Palm, Team Novelty, Team Jazz, and Team Contemporary and my favorite is Team Contemporary because our own dance officers choreographed it for us. Um, our team goals this year are to get at least top three at each contest that we go to and just to be able to enjoy and have fun with like the little things considering like all the things that are different this year with COVID. Best Buddies is an international nonprofit organization dedicated to the inclusion of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The Seven Lakes Best Buddies chapter has been actively promoting inclusion since its start in 2005 and has gained great success while doing it, garnering international, state, and local recognition, notably winning the International Most Outstanding High School Chapter Award in 2018. 81% of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities are unemployed and a vast majority face societal prejudice. Best Buddies empowers people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to advocate for themselves and actively engage the community in promoting inclusivity. Our mission here at Seven Lakes is to create a culture of kindness, allowing everyone to have the ideal high school experience full of friendships, endless opportunities, and consistent support. We do this by creating interabled one-to-one -one friendships, putting on socials, and attending different school and community events where all are included. Okay, hi, I'm Brooke. I'm the Vice President of Best Buddies, and this is my buddy. Amy. We have been friends for almost six years now, since junior high, and uh, but we've been officially Best Buddies for about three years now, starting my sophomore year. We have such a great friendship. We love to, you know, do so many different things together. Amy, what's your favorite thing to do together? I like playing Uno with Brooke and have Basket Robins. Yeah, we love to go to Baskin Robins, play Uno. Amy always beats me. So I'm a little bit of a sore loser, but we get through it. Amy, what's your favorite thing about Best Buddies? I like everything about Brooke. March is Best Buddies Month, and we encourage everyone to make efforts in our school and community to step outside of your comfort zone and reach out to people different than yourself. Show kindness to those around you throughout this month and beyond. In April, we have our annual Friendship Walk to raise money and awareness for inclusion to be continued all around the world. 
If you would like to further continue our mission, come support our team and join us on April 17th to celebrate the strides we're making to create more widespread kindness and inclusivity. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm one of Best Buddies Freshman Ambassadors. As a freshman, Best Buddies has been a really great way for me to meet new people in this new school. Best Buddies truly creates a community based on kindness and because of that, I've been able to create really impactful friendships with both my buddy and the others in the organization. My buddy Hannah and I have been able to extend our friendship through Best Buddies. I'm so excited for the three years to come and navigate high school together. Today and every day, Seven Links High School Best Buddies encourages you to spread inclusion. Spread inclusion. Spread inclusion. Spread inclusion. Spread inclusion. Hey Spartans! From March 22nd to April 1st, we will be hosting a food drive for the Houston Food Bank. This is not only an excellent opportunity to help out local food banks facing shortages after the big freeze, but also a great way to earn service hours. We'll have collection bins and after-school drop-off opportunities from 3 to 3.30, Tuesdays and Thursdays at the 9th grade entrance. The Houston Food Bank needs non-perishables like peanut butter and canned goods. Check out the QR code for some donation do's and don'ts. Big dreams, big dreams, rose on his own, but he's got big dreams. I seen all the sh he's seen. Never had a daddy's only 15. Mid teens, big dreams, could have played for all the big teams. Could have been a star in all the big leagues. Yeah, brother, we Uh, the season's been great so far. We've only lost one game, first place, and we're trying to win state right now. What do you think are some of the keys to your success this year? We have some very talented players on this team, you know, a bunch of young guys, seniors, and we're very, very good on the ball and off the ball. We work very hard. Tell us about the rest of the year. I mean, um, we're, trying to, we're trying to win state. That's our goal. That's everyone's goal. But I think we have the, uh, the players and the coaches to win it. And um, I think that a bunch of these players, not just for now, but like for the future, we're prepared for like for a district for every season. And what do you think are some things you guys are going to have to do to go far in the playoffs? To go far in the playoffs, we have to work hard, you know, practice, give it our all at all times, because like it's not going to be easy getting there. But I think we have enough. We have good players to go all the way. and I did the 3200 meter today and I have to do the 4x8 later. Uh, I think I did good. I was able to win, which was really nice. And I was close to the school record. I was gunning for that. I was like a little off, went out a little too slow. But other than that, I thought it was a good effort. The Varsity Boys track team had a good showing at the Bubba Fife Relays on February 27th. The Spartans finished second out of the nine teams competing. Seven Lakes event winners include...
4x400-meter relay team of Devin Wright, Bogdan Pazin, Alex Lopez, and Christopher Gonzalez won with a time of 3 minutes and 28 seconds. 4x800-meter relay team of Leopoldo Toro Figuera, Ruben Rojas Betanzos, Miguel Prieto Casado, and Sebastian Lira won with a time of 8 minutes 27 seconds. Ruben Rojas Betanzos won the 2-mile run with a time of 9 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, my name's Natalie Foreman, and I ran the 400 in the DMR. Um, we did really good. We placed third, and we closed the gap like a lot. The Spartan girls won all three sprint relays, the 4x100-meter, the 4x200-meter, and the 4x400-meter, while running a meet record of 46.93 seconds in the 4x100-meter. The record-breaking team consisted of Brooke Jackson, Alyssa Tate, Haley Tate, and Sydney Kemp. Gold medals were also won in the 1,600-meter run by Lainey Heiser, the high jump by Summer Halfen, and the pole vault by Lauren Schmidt. Great job, Spartans. Congratulations to Ethan Jang, our speech and debate president who was crowned the 2021 UIL 6A state champion in congressional debate. Ethan also finished last year as a state runner-up. Additionally, we would like to congratulate Karina Aniceto, the public speaking captain, for placing 16th in the state. 